It's time. It's time. It's time! New Pokemans! New precious bubbles to fall in love with. Let's do it! I could have been playing this like an hour ago, but I was setting up all this crap. And I did something stupid. Hmm. I'm feeling Italiano. Of course not. Seems pretty low. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm pretty pale and brown hair. Whitest boy. You can't change your language or your name. Change the look. Oh, that's probably just that screen again. Oh, oh my god. Okay, I hate when you have to actually, like, click the thing to see what it looks like. Yeah, because I'm always tired. There we go, yeah. I'm always tired and people probably think I'm stoned. Eyes. Ultramarine. That's actually probably closer to my eye shade. Oh my god. Fancy. Oh, gold pupils. Ugh! I can just go demon. The yeah, Ultramarine's probably closer to my eyelashes. I don't know, I never noticed my eyelashes. They're just kind of basic. The difference here. Can't see it over the damn hair. I'll probably be able to change this later, right? Can barely see the damn mouth. <laughs> Ooh. -oh. There we go. Resting bitch face. Perfect. I'm fabulous. Beauty spot. Oh, like moles. I forget they're called that sometimes. I did actually plug my... Okay, yeah, everything seems to be set up right. Yeah. Hairstyles. Surprised you can do this out the gate. Gotten so used to this crap being gated off till later. Side braid. I'm beautiful. Nope. Honestly. Probably close to how I look right about now. I need a haircut. Actually, maybe more like that. Hair's got a little bit of wave to it. Ugh, white people braids. 
That's a weak ass pompadour. <laughs> to say, when he closes his eyes like that. God, the bowl cut. <laughs> They're called space buttons. <laughs> of course they are. That's beautiful. Actually, that's pretty accurate. Ah, dark brown, that's... Me being boring and just making me. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, I spent six minutes on that? Enrollment application for Naranja Academy. Enrollment complete. This game's gonna make me go back to school. Ugh, my worst nightmare. <coughs> Taking lessons from tradition, growing stronger and greater. It's time for you two to dive into the world of Pokemon. Arceus was a good game, but <laughs> Director Clavel, head of Naranja Academy. <laughs> but it's like, this is clearly where all the presentation from that that wasn't in that game went to. Paldea is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Dude's just decked out with premier balls. Who's a fat little friend? Pokemon can be found living all over. In the seas, in the skies, even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we both help one another to live and thrive. Naranja Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. That is a tacky suit, sir. And the hair isn't doing it favors. Although then, Raichu. Friend. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. And as Pokemon train. Whoa! New Tauros form? Cool! Getting some new stuff already we haven't seen. It actually doesn't look that much different, honestly. Just the color. <laughs> Did they give Tauros a new shiny? Or is that a regional form? Probably a regional form. It would be cool if, like... Because actually that girl... She's one of your rivals, isn't she? I, re I think I remember seeing her in one of the trailers. They showed her off as a major character. It's hard when everybody's wearing the damn uniform. While our robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential. It is within these halls that you will find your friends, your Pokemon, and your true self. Rock Rock, we, the faculty and staff at Naranja Academy, can't wait to welcome you with open arms. Now that electric gym leader in that trailer, she said the weird Magnemite things in her hair were clips, but I'm thinking that Magnemite might get like an alternate evolution in this game. That she, that, that was bullshit. Also, here he is, the fancy lizard boy. I love him. Okay, so the new basic bitch bird Pokemon. It almost looked like Taylor. Regional form of it. Okay, yeah, nope, that's regional Tauros, all right. Not that many shinies together. Oh! Just a straight-up Flamingo Pokemon. Didn't get a good look at it, but it looked like just a Flamingo, which I guess that is an animal that we haven't had yet in the series. 
This boy determined. He's zooming. Or not. Hmm. Wait a minute. I can't fly. Oh, we're seeing a lot of new ones right out the gate. Stuff that wasn't shown in any of the trailers. Chat talk gets a parrot friend. I'm so hype. Oh yeah, didn't Sword and Shield do a thing also where it's like the switch in your room was based on what actual color Joy-Cons you were using in real life? So either that's a coincidence or they're doing it again, which I don't see why they wouldn't do it again. Hmm. Can I just not run yet, or is there a run button? Those are some cute. Squovit plush made with caring. Made with care using nice soft material. That's, that's cute. This is a cute little rum. Your bag and hat are hanging here, but it's not time to get ready yet. Soft, fluffy bed. Got a lovely sun warmed scent. This is a nice rum. X to open the menu, select save, save for us, open bag, key items, adventure guide, check this when you want to review your tips. Alright. Yeah, I brought that thing back. Was that in Sun and Moon? I mean, Sun and Moon. Was that in Sword and Shield? Or was that just Bravely... Bravely Deep... Jesus Christ. Brilliant Diamond. I, BD and the words Bravely Default. Like, the initials BD popped into my head and the words Bravely Default just came out my mouth. Bravely Default's awesome. You should play it. Bravely Second 2. I don't know why people shit on it so much. I loved it. Bravely Default 2? Let people shit on. It's got its good parts, but... Anyways... Very own wardrobe, adornment Pokemon stickers. Okay, I know we saw Applin in one of the trailers, which made me happy because I love Appleton so much. So I guess Paldea has Drifloon and Hatena. Map of Paldea, this house would be down in the lower part. New Nintendo Switch! This one's got a bigger screen. Oh, this version of me has the money for an OLED, does he? It must be nice. Today on. Sud Adventures? We'll see Mesagoza, a city that's home to a well-known academy. Oops, better get going. Mesagaga, maybe? Because, yeah, there was that season of Power Rangers that was dinosaur themed with, like, the fucking dinosaur villain named Mesagog. He was cool. Your mom built these shells herself, neatly decorated with your belongings. We have a pet squirrel of it. We have a pet squirrel, that's awesome. Painting is entitled Street Midday. Picks a beautiful town in a different region. Maybe it's just supposed to be vague, but is that the town from Pasio? From Pokemon Masters? Hey little dude. Pet the squirrel friend. Or just look at it. Good morning. Oh, already in your uniform and everything. Well, it is your first day at your new school, after all. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contacted me and said you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. Their words, not mine. Apparently, there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for. Ross, get the door, would you? This leads towards the vegetable garden. Use the front door. Alright. Is that how long your talk range is? Or she just interrupt you if you try to examine? Okay, new fridge when you move, sandwich ingredients. Induction stove, you should get your mom's help if you're going to use it. Nothing about the microwave? 
God, talk range is just that huge, perhaps. This is a lovely house. Come on down to every which way, every kind of sandwich, any way you want. Our subs are handmade by pros and perfect for picnics. Scovitz bed. There's drool stains on it. Room is for storage. You don't need to go in. Mm. That nice clipping in that box. <laughs> eh. All the substitute doll. Do forgive the intrusion. You are Master Ross, yes? On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents, and also for my delay in introducing myself. And I'm the director of Miraja Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. The director? And you came in person to help my son with his first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire Academy, including any failures on its part. So here at last are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. Wow, he actually had something in his hand. I thought he was just going to hold out the hand and, you know, do the usual RPG thing where it's like, just imagine they're handing something to each other. Which, for everyone gets on the case, yes, Pokemon does cut corners in a lot of places, but a lot of games do that. That's not just a Pokemon thing. Goodness, you really needn't have. Since you've come this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Ah, uh, no need to troll yourself. Ross, I got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head back up to your room and finish getting ready for school? You'll need your bag, and your hat as well. Mm-hmm. Now, Mr. Clavel, you simply must join me for a cuppa, this way. Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? Maybe I'm being too judgmental, but Pokemon is anime, and its art style, and just how it works. And usually, when an anime character has those, like, squinty, shifty eyes, they're usually evil. But maybe I'm being a dick and judging him based on appearances. Is your room upstairs? No need to concern yourself with me. Go on. But also, I mean, he is head of the academy, and I just... I don't trust authority. Ever. Off... Off you pop, Ross. Go to your room and get ready. Get yourself ready for school. You need your bag and your hat, too. Hey, little fella. Do, 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 do. But what we have down here, huh? Big plant in a big vase, flowers blooming on it. Your mom's room. Uh, better not go in without asking. Wow, your mother actually has a room in a Pokemon game. Artwork's entitled Patchwork Light. It's got different colors of paper pasted together. Cool. My kindergarten art project. Painting is entitled Before Juicing. Just emanates freshness. Cardboard boxes sure are heavy for being so small. What could be inside? Can I examine this little plant? One of your mom's house plants. Careful not to knock it over. This painting is entitled Windmills and Sky. You can almost feel the invigorating breeze. I always like how you can just examine everything in your... Oh, even the window. Window looks out over the backyard. Past that, you see the wide open sea. I always love how you can just examine everything in your house in Pokemon. <laughs> Do I have to approach it from this side? <laughs> Apparently. Unless I want to spend another 20 minutes in here. <laughs> Such a dorky uniform. But, oh well. It is what it is. Already read that. Optionals. Fast. You choose not to be prompted to teach Pokemon new moves as they level up. Is it the is it the legend system? Pokemon automatically sent to your boxes or not when your party is full. Choose her to be prompted to give nicknames to Pokemon. I'm not good at coming up with nicknames. I mean, can I change them at any time? I wonder how much of Legends is gonna bleed over into this. No. Helping functions activate it when you fall from a great height? Oh. Oh, how much Legends is in this? <laughs> Can you also eat shit and die yourself like in Legends? <laughs> oh, 
Alrighty. When do I get my running shoes? Oh, just look at you, all ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our storied academy suits you quite well indeed. Oh. oh, gracious, how very careless of me. I had entirely forgotten that I have something else for you, Master Ross, a most important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director out and see, shall we? <laughs> ah, fresh RPG adventure. Always a good time. Right then, dear Pokemon, time to come out your Pokeballs. Ah, so does everyone who enrolls get just a free Pokemon for enrolling? We provide, yeah, we provide each student entering the academy a Pokemon of their own. I'll ask you to choose which among these three you would like to have as your partner. Sprigatito, the grass cat Pokemon. Cute. Aww. Fuecoco, the fire croc Pokemon. <laughs> Baby, I love him. And Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon. Eh. They're all very good company. Why, they usually refuse to even leave my side. Fuecoco stepped forward first. It was destined. I mean, I've already made my choice. What's this? So it turns out they're more interested in you, Master Ross, and familiar old me. I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. I'll be at the house over there. I take your time at your decision, then come find me once your mind is made up. Now if you'll excuse me, until next we meet. <laughs> They're just looking intently, and he's just like, Ah. What a mannerly fellow that director of yours is. These three are all lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task, Wait, Coco. Why not take this opportunity to walk about with the little ones and get to know them? Aw, oh, you're gonna get me attached to them all? I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Before you go, I got you a little something to celebrate your big day. I take it with you if you're going out on your own. Oh, there we go, there's the classic RPG. <laughs> Invisible item handover. I hate that all of the phones in the Pokemon world now are living creatures, technically. Like, this is asking for trouble. A brand new phone. According to the instructions, you can check the map out by pressing the Y button. It'll help you from getting... It'll help keep you from... I can't... I can't read today. It... I mean, it is, like, the middle of the night. And I have not slept in, like, a day. Insomnia sucks. So take good care of your new gadget, okay? Now off you go. Have fun. So he just left them with me, huh? Alright, just grab them and run. Oh my god, you're so fucking cute. Handy Rotom phone, popular item. Adding apps gives access to new functions. Using the map, you can find useful information. Move the cursor over your own icon. Move the right stick side to side. You'll rotate your own view along with the map. Handy for orienting yourself. Use left, move glass around, find locations, press A, and you can set it as a destination. Flying taxi service could take you to places you've been before, places you can fly to, or indicate with feather mark. All right. Rather than one giant bird in this region, they're <laughs> piloted, they're <laughs> powered by a shit ton of small birds. Ah, I see what they mean. Okay, so like Pokemon that live in this area. Have we seen Wingle in the trailers? I can't remember. unit. Okay, so these lighthouses, there's four in each cardinal direction at the edges of the continent. The legendary was going for those lighthouses. Those are gonna be important. He's so round. He's so cute. 
I love my spicy little crocodile son. Oh my god, I Fue Coco is perfect. I mean, Sprigatito is an absolute cutie patootie as well. I guess Quaxley... Okay, yeah, Quaxley's cute too, but... I feel bad saying this, but you're my least favorite, I'm sorry. But you're pretty neat. But you're adorable, and you are just precious, I love you. Oh. Okay, oh my god, this is not as fast as I can walk, please. Okay. If you do that in the camera, so tap L and the camera will stay behind you. Oop. What's everybody seeing? Interested in the laundry? Okay, why can I only interact with Fue Coco? <laughs> the game is like, we already know you're picking him. Oh, I can interact with Quaxley. What you interested in, buddy? Faucet used for the garden, better not turn it on willy-nilly. Sheet and one of your mom's aprons are fluttering peacefully in the breeze. Oh, could I examine the bush that Fue Coco was staring at? Nope, Fue Coco. I cannot interact with Sprigatito. Oh. I see that item. Give me- oh. Oh my god, when do I get running shoes? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm so slow. Looks like you can't- emotes, what? Antidote, okay. Good to have those. They're so cute. It's like, man, I wish Pokemon were real. And then I think about all the horrifying creatures there are. Like, maybe not. The storage room behind the kitchen, shovels, fertilizers, and other stuff. What you all getting into? Little troublemakers. They're so cute. They're just running around all over the yard looking at everything. I love them. Seriously, just pick them up. They're small enough. Just grab all three of them and run. Run. Take them all. The man's old. He can't stop you. He can't catch you. You're young. You're spry. Go for it. How oh, to be young again. Nah, no, damn it. Can't walk between the bushes. Huh. Just... The fruit in that tree is just like so noticeable. I thought maybe you could shake it and knock it down. Okay, so no, those are not berry item trees. Dum bum ba da da dum da da do ba da da da. They're adorable. I love them so much. Is he just looking at the house in general? Oh, was he looking at what, tomatoes? Uh. Okay. Like, I'm sure it's just, like, an opening thing, but why do they make the walk speed so fucking slow? Like, it's a little much. Hm. That is a nice view. Hey, I can't run this far. Gabo Poco. Oh, there we go. Thank you, please. This is Cabo Poco. It's not much. Just a little pinch of community, but it's home. Oh, we got the sneaking. You can slide into stealth. It's awesome. Power sides is amazing! You connect with your friends, you can head on adventures together. Up to four of you at a time. 
Uh, I love... The science is amazing, chubby guy. <laughs> Tradition does not die. His legacy shall be kept alive forever. I see that. Boom, boom, doom. Pokemon. Let's get up the stairs. Damn, got moves. Okay, now this is a nice hat. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> That's cute. I love him so much. Are you these three's trainer? Not quite. Master Ross has yet to make his choice, you see. I wonder which of them he will choose as his first Pokemon. <laughs> Christ is just like, bro, really? Babies. Buenas. We haven't met, have we? I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Hang on, Director. Is this who I think it is? Yes, this is our Academy's newest student, Master Ross. He will be attending as of today. So you're that kid who moved up in, moved in up the road. I've been dying to find out more about you. I'm Nimona. Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Want to be friends? No. Nah, I'm not gonna be a dick. Love the enthusiasm. We're gonna get along just fine. Miss Nimona is president of our student council and a champion ranked trainer in her own right. Absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now, you and me. Easy now. You two will be in the same class. So you'll have plenty of time to battle later, and to get to know one another better, of course. We're gonna be neighbors and classmates. Nice. We'll be able to battle all we want. On that note, Master Ross, have you decided which of these Pokemon you would like to be your first partner? Well, the cat is pretty cute. Sprigatito. Sprigatito, a grass-type Pokemon. It can use its plant powers to soak up whatever water you throw at it. Would you like to go with our good grass-type Sprigatito here? I mean, eh, you're cute, but eh. Quaxley, a water-type. It may seem quiet, but its mighty streams of water can put out any fire, you'll see. Here comes the boy. Here he is. Fue Coco, a fire type. A burning hot sparks it scatters will fry any and all plants in a flash. Yes, my son, give him to me. My baby boy! My fat, round, spicy son. Fuegoko seems to have taken quite a liking to your Master Ross. This is your first Pokémon, yes? Please raise it with love and care. And of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokéball. Ross, I can't believe you actually chose Fue Coco. What's that mean, bitch? Oh, I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. 
Can I choose one of these Pokemon too, Director Clavel? Oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Miss Nimona? Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Ross while he raises his own new partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Master Ross here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes! Since Ross chose Fui Coco, I'll go for this little one. Nice to meet you, Sprigatito. Welcome to the team. Giddy. Alright then. Now that we've chosen our Pokemon, we have to battle. I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. Come join me when you're ready. As you may have noticed, Mr. Mona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. But I do hope you'll join us for a battle. It will help you get to know your own Pokemon as well. Miss Mona was hoping to join her at the beach, wasn't she? She'd be ever so happy if you agreed to battle with her. Farewell. Oh, I just barged to her house. Hey, y'all got shit to steal? Gumi! The boy! Also Gibble! The good round dragon friends! Ping is titled The Hidden Ninja. This is supposed to be of a Pokemon. Abstract Greninja. Where does dust come from? I find it just as baffling as the things that Pokemon can do. My apologies. Both the Master and Mistress of the House are away at present. Petrisus! More squirrels! Chansey! Man, get closer. I'm about to give it a damn kiss. Mwah. Smooch the round friend. The gleaming seas. It's gorgeous. Sibling love. Aw, oh, Eevees. Okay, I can't talk to them. Okay, so if they have the arrow next to the above their head, it means you can talk to them. Is what I'm getting from this. Damn, all the servants and everything? This girl living the life. Ba -da -ba. Oh, gimme. Also gimme. Boop. <laughs> Auto heal, automatically select items from your bag to use them to heal your Pokemon. Highlight the Pokemon you want to heal and use minus. We'll use these in the following order. Potions, water, soda, super potions, lemonade, and milks, and hyper potions. Interesting. I just love his gaping mouth thousand yard stare. <laughs> He's adorable. Hey, can I jump in the water and drown like in Legends? Okay. <laughs> you go below over waist deep and the game's like, no, 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 dumbass. No. Are you that fucking dense? <laughs> Maybe I am. Over here! Anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have Pokemon by their side. It's our duties as trainers to help our Pokemon grow stronger through battle. So, ready to battle me? Perfecto! I'm so excited. For this battle, I think I'll use... Miss Nimona. I trust you remember that Master Ross is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling. <laughs> Whoops. Good call, Director. I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. I guess I'll take this chance to try out my new buddy instead. <laughs> She's like, I was about to crush this noob. <laughs> Come on, Ross, let us have a fruitful battle. You are challenged by Trainer Nimona.
little boy. I know this is your first Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun! <laughs> Bitch, don't you run from me! God, why didn't the Diamond Pearl remakes have the status thing? Alright. So, yeah. Nothing has changed on these moves. Hmm. You must have been studying up. Smart move. Fire is strong against grass. Hop all over again. Should have known you'd have mastered your tort matchups. What well, happened with that camera there for a second? Wow, not bad, neighbor. Pay up, bitch. Look at you winning your first battle ever. You've got even more potential than I thought. You're gonna be a strong trainer for sure. Now I want to try a different strategy. Let's go again. Just one more battle. Master Olsen Suikoko will surely wheel you already from that last battle. Sorry, I got kind of caught up in all the excitement. I'm really sorry, Ross. Same to your Fue Coco, too. Let's go again soon. Oh, definitely. We'll definitely battle more. You two seem to be becoming fast friends, so you've only just met. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmate here under your wing, Miss Nimona? I'm sure we can learn a great deal from a champion ranked trainer such as yourself. You bet, sir. That reminds me, since you're new to training Pokemon, here's an app you definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Let me see it for a sec. Ah, so it's just an app you can download online now. Pokedex will automatically register any Pokemon you catch. It's a must-have for Pokemon trainers. Super handy app. Our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jacques, actually made it himself. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokedexes. Quite the age we live in now. Ooh, filling out a Pokedex by hand? Can't even imagine how much work that would take. <laughs> no, I suppose you can't. Yet no matter how much the times may change, the wonder of meeting new Pokémon never does. That is a truly timeless pleasure. And more Pokémon that you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. I hope you will both work hard toward the goal of completing your own Pokédexes. Now, Mr. Mona, I do still have a few matters to discuss with your parents. Could I depend on you to see Master Ross to the Academy? You could be doing me quite a favor. Of course, leave it to me. And I leave him in your capable hands. Alright, little one, it's time you and I were on our way. Oh. Maybe I ought to make a little more time to work on my Pokedex along with all my battling. Oh, right! Speaking of Pokedexes, Ross, you've probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? I'll show you the ropes before I take to the Academy. Come with me! And she's gone. That girl moved to Jesus. She is gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've collected on it in volumes. Let's see the habitat number I found. Way Coco, a fire crock. It lies on warm rocks and uses the heat absorbed by its square shaped scales to create fire energy. Friend. It is also extremely friend shaped. He's so fucking cute. Alright. Any more loot? That's all I care about. What's down here? Loot! Da -da 
den. Go away, music. <laughs> Only the silence and the sound of the waves. More loot. <laughs> Targets. So Whoa. We really just had a frame dip running in an empty area with nothing in it. Oh, that doesn't bode well. Oh, no. They did shit this game out too fast. Okay, maybe it was just a freak incident. No, it was not a freak incident. It keeps happening. It's, oh, God. Is the game already breaking? Game Freak, come on. I see that. How do I get up there? Let me in. Let me in! Oh, Ross, I hear that Nimona here will be taking you to school. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. So you've already managed to make a friend. <laughs> and I read about all the wonderful teachers you'll have looking after you at the school. Plus so many handy facilities you can use as much as you like. Add in your new friend, Amona, and it sounds like your school life is shaping up to be fantastic. Ugh, water. Now you'll be staying in the school dorms, so I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. There's a bit of spending money to start off with. I also packed a lunch for your first day. Sandwich. Oh, and maybe you better take these too. Use them on that precious little partner of yours, should it get hurt in battle. I know every day in your life is going to be full of exciting experiences far from home. Just try to savor them all, the good times and the hard times too. But if you ever want to come back home, you know your bed is always ready for you. Alright then, you two had better be off, I suppose. And take care on the way to school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your mother's so nice. Oh, but I was going to teach you how to catch bomb Pokemon. Come on, vamos! This way! Zoom. And she's gone. You get the feeling this is going to be a recurring thing with her. Okay, but I want that item. Oh, fuck you, invisible wall. Let me in. <laughs> Let me in! Just, come on, just swoose on in! Ugh. Do, do, ba, dee, do, ba, da, da, ba, ba, da, ba, bum, ba, da, da, ba, go, bath. How do I... Can I not rearrange them? Oh, that's gonna drive me nuts. Alright. This here is Poco Path. What the fuck is that? Are those spiders? Like, it looks like th those are spiders. It's a path that leads to adventure for you and me. Out here, things are different than in town. You're gonna see wild Pokemon out and about. They'll be on the path and in the grass and such. Get too close to one and you'll have to battle. But you've got Fue Coco for that, right? And if you want to try to catch... <gasps> oh, God. Excuse me. Catch a Pokemon, you gotta use... A good old Pokeball. I've got tons. Have a few.
Oink. Oh, what luck. Time for some learning my doing. Try battling this Lechonk. I still can't believe it's called Lechonk. Please tell me its evolution is called Leswole. Or Lethic. Next, we're having a hard time, deal damage before throwing another one. Yeah, I know how this works. Okay. Will Ember be too much with it being level 3? Oh. I can, like, zoom in on it. On my like, target. <sighs> Will Ember be overkill? Let's find out. No. Second one won't, but it might get burned. So, perfect. Yay! Le chunk acquired. Searches for food all day and possesses a keen sense of smell, but doesn't use it for anything other than foraging. <laughs> like, all the entries are just, like, books. And yet it's a digital app. Uh, whatever. Hala, uh, that was awesome! You caught the very first Pokémon you went for! I'm crummy when it comes to actually catching Pokémon. Maybe you should give me tips! Anyway, have some more Pokeballs just in case. Not every catch works out. Wake at the Pokemon, then throw the Pokeball. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Now go battle those wild Pokemon and catch some of them. Let's meet back up at that lighthouse over there. You can see our school from the top. Is he wandering elsewhere? Yeah, yeah, run into him, battle. Start a battle by looking at one and throwing a Pokeball. Try this out to battle Pokemon that are up in trees or in the sky. Ah. So yeah, they, they're definitely Lechonk hair. Oh my god, does this game have like a crafting system that Pokemon drop shit? Material accidentally dropped by a Pokemon can be used to make TMs. Interesting. You craft them in this game? All right, Lechonk, what you got? A little bit of lag when you open up the Pokemon menu. Tackle and Tail Whip. Yeah, you're just normal, right? Yeah. Okay, special attack down and speed up. Special attack up, physical attack down. I don't know if any of this will be good or not, but oh well. Loot! Potion! Hoppets! Actually, we've seen them in the trailers, haven't we? Wait, why didn't it send out the chunk? Oh, no, I sent out Fue Coco. There was just a wild chunk that I didn't see. I hate that I can't rearrange my moves, apparently. I want to put Ember at the top. You know, I like to put it in order of my most used stuff. Alright. Oh, that's a lock on. Okay, so you can't manually aim your Pokeballs. You just press the button and they throw. Where did the lock on first? Alright, who's Spider Friend here? Terrantula? Oh, yeah, like, round. Okay, yeah, Terrantula. What's that dude stressing the fuck out about? Huh. You know, it's weirdly kind of cute. Okay. S assuming it's bug, but Pokemon can be weird. So, don't kill it. Hmm. <laughs> 
Maybe this will be my second Pokemon in my team. Because I do think spiders are pretty cool. I am a little creeped out by them, but not as much as I used to. Most bugs do still creep me the hell out, though. Spiders I got kind of cool with because you know, I realized, one, spiders eat other more irritating bugs. And spiders don't, like, get all up in your shit like flies and roaches do and stuff. Spiders just vibe and mind their own damn business. The balls of thread wrapped around its body is elastic enough to deflect the size of Scyther, this Pokemon's natural enemy. Huh. Cool. Hello, Hopip. Farewell, Hopip. How strong is round 60? Huh. I would do more, because I know Hop-Hip is rather fragile. Nimona's just standing there in the distance, vibing, staring out into space, thinking about life. The past, the future, everything in between. Where did we come from? Where are we going? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? <laughs> the Pokeball f just floats when catching flying stuff. Okay. Ah! I've seen past the veil and into the abyss of truth. Reality is an illusion. This Pokemon is blown across vast distances by the wind. It is unclear where the Hopip of Paldea originally came from. Hop hip leaf. Oh yeah, did I get something from the tarantula? Yeah, oh my god. Okay, so they all have the same. So does every wild possible wild Pokemon in the game have its own unique item? Oh god, the farming. Let it commence. Yo, you guys like guarding something? Oh, they're snoozing under the tree. Sorry to bother you. Hello, Spoder friends. I see. Look, they would just chillin' and bother nobody. Just doing their thing. Hi. Just came up to say hello. And now we go about our merry ways and mind our own lives. See, that's weird. Spiders used to be like one of the bugs I was most afraid of for most of my life. And now they're like... I'm just like, yeah, cool. They're they're kind of cool. Spiders are dope. Fuck roaches, though. Roaches can fuck right off. I hate them. I hate them so much. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you can climb that, you pussy. Yes, yes, yes. Swoose on in. Damn it. Come on. Can I break it? Yes. Yes. No. Go, go, go. Damn it. This sucks. Oh. Fletchling. Huh? What? Oh. You. I don't remember what you're called. Scatterbug. Round this bitch! How fucking dare you? Wait, isn't Pavilion, like, actually really fucking good? I can't remember. But I feel like I remember the... Well, remembering that Vavillion is, like, actually really fucking strong. Actually kind of amazing. Am I remembering that right? 
Or am I getting some other butterfly in it mixed up? Scatterbug powder. Any poison this Pokemon takes in is converted into a black powder and secreted. That's why Scatterbug can eat poisonous leaves and roots. <laughs> Nature's garbage disposal. Right. Come on. There we go. Targeting's a little fucky. Burp. It's like Kalos all over again. Memories. And that was a game I also went to a midnight release and dressed up for. <laughs> oh yeah, I went to the local GameStop for the night release wearing a Luxray costume. Because why the fuck not? I almost didn't do it. I was like, eh, that's just too extra. It's not like it's gonna be a big event or anything. It's a small store in a small hick country town. We're gonna walk in, grab the game, and walk out. And then I took one step outside my door, and I'm like, It's cold. Fuck that. I'm putting on the fursuit. <laughs> I regret nothing. This Pokemon is normally calm, but once it enters battle, its hormonal balance changes, and it becomes aggressive. That sounds like the fucking opposite of calm. But it is a bird. They're kind of dicks. Uh, almost stepped on you. Lighthouse, though. I want to go up that way. What we got over here? Besides more loot. Hey, is that where... He crashed in the cutscene in the opening? I believe so. Hello. Hiding over here with your creepy glowy eyes. And for a second, I thought the hat was another Pokemon coming up behind. <laughs> I thought it was another Tarantula. Pommy. Get fucked! Other wild Pokemon just like they just come up and watch. <laughs> we like to watch. It's like, boy, good thing it's him, not me. Catch it immediately, turn around and slaughter that Lechonk for its. <laughs> what was it? It dropped hair. That's what it was. It was like for its tears. Is it Monster Hunter? Or is it? Lechonk learned the disarming voice. It has underdeveloped electric sacs on its cheeks. These sacs can produce electricity only if Palmy rubs them furiously with the pads on its forepaws. So we got normal. No, we don't need two bugs. Keep six in your po Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to play fucking Pokemon. Palmy fur. And a revive. Worth the trip. New Pokemon and some supplies. Da -da 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 -da. Paralysis healing. Ooh, Rossberry. Nice. So keep an eye out for shining spots on the ground. And damn it, sorry, I didn't mean to step on you. <laughs> but also, if you get in my way, get fucked. Has it really been an hour? It does not feel like it. Holy crap. I'm like, I'm not even through the tutorial yet. Jesus. It's why I generally don't do videos when I play open world games, because I get so distracted by fucking everything. And I make no progress whatsoever. It's why I didn't do a series on Sonic Frontiers. Which, honestly, that game was short enough that I could have. Maybe recording would have, like, helped control my... Who am I kidding, though? I would have gotten distracted as hell. You getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon okay? It's also why I didn't do a series on Legends. Let's see. So far, you've caught... I thought that was her reacting to my Pokedex. <laughs> 
Whoa, what was that? I've never heard that kind of cry before. Could be some strong Pokemon or something. I said we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around. Just be careful. There's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. And I know your Rotom phone can help keep you safe, but watch your step by these cliffs anyway. Okay, yeah. But first, items. Horde. Greed is my sin. Honestly, from what I've heard of the themes, the battle theme so far, it sounds like a remix of an earlier game's battle theme. What's the extra shiny I want, I need? By Coco, go get it! Never mind. Wait. Oh god! Oh! We're fighting the grass! Ugh! The grass evolved into Lechonk! Nature's gone awry! <laughs> Jesus Christ, that scared me! Acquired hair. Spooter friend. Ooh, did I see an item over here? Oh, no. You, I saw? Did you, like, glitch out and turn blue? Or was that something else? Did Crydon fucking, like, destroy that fence? Crash through it? Hour. They're in this, but also, poor boy. <laughs> Fuck off, mate. What? So the phone can fly, so the Rotom can fly and support your weight and- wow. <laughs> the lad. The unit. I can't open the menu right now. Friend? Mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Maybe you could give it something to help it perk up? So are all instances of using key items going to be like that, where I have to manually choose it? I, I generally like when games do that. One by. Look at him go. I love him. He's so fabulous. So is Nimona, like, not yelling down from top of the cliff, saying anything about me falling off a fucking cliff?
about to say featherless and bipedal. This is a man, but he absolutely has feathers. He's so extra. I love him. Okay. Nice pop in. Oh my god, I still can't fucking... Okay, well... You know what? This seems like a good place to end it for now. We've met the boy. I forget which is... I think he's Koridon, and Miridon is the other one, right? I forget which is which. I think this is Ko. Koridon. But anyways... This is a good spot to stop it for now. And we will continue this next time, probably, which fucking immediately. For reasons, which I didn't go over at the start of this, I meant to. Oops. Oh well. Until next time, everybody, which will be very soon. Have a good evening and take care of yourselves.